What up everybody at the beginning of BMF season 2 episode 1 we see a flash forward to 2005 and Terry getting arrested by none other than Officer Bryant. But, but before he gets arrested, we see him speaking to a woman on the phone saying he will meet her at the border. And we see OG 2005 Southwest T grabbing a picture of young Terry and none other than Markeisha. So we know that Markeisha is going to become T's girl someday. Someday, maybe in the future, maybe not too long from now, we're going to see Markeisha become T's girl. But right now, there's a problem because Markeisha is a married woman. She is Boom's wife. We met Markeisha at Pat's party in season one. We, the Flannery brothers met Markeisha at Pat's party in season one and she told this is right after they're about to fight some guys from Terry's school and Markeisha told the Flannery brothers that they're looking too good to be fighting and that she caught Terry's eye at that moment and he has been lusting after her ever since. So what do we know actually about Boom? That is Markeisha's husband. And we don't really know too much about him. We definitely know he's an associate of Pat's, a close associate of Pat's, a fellow drug trafficker, and he could possibly be Pat's connect, but I don't have that I don't have that for sure. I'm just guessing who he is. We do know he's a fellow drug trafficker when Meech picked up some work from Pat in season one. He had it in the Tide box and Terry said that Pat's getting slick with it. And Meech told him that he taught that he learned that from Boom. So we do know Boom is definitely into trafficking drugs like Pat. So he's in the same business as Meech and Terry and the rest of the people we see in BMF. But we don't know how actually big time he is. I mean, his... His girl is still working a job at the insurance company, so if he was too big, I don't think his his wife would be, his, not even his girl, his wife would be working on a commission at the insurance company. But here we go anyway. Get back to back to where we are at now. When we are got when we after the flash forward, we jump back to 1989 in season two, starting it off. And I'm guessing it is around a one to six month time jump from the end of season one to the beginning of season two. And LaWanda T's baby mama had been gone this whole time. And before getting home, he sees Markeisha at the ball game. And he is staring at her and checking her out and just daydreaming or whatever about her. But when he gets home, he finds out that LaWanda has returned home from Pennsylvania, I think is where she went to stay with her uncle. So she has now returned home. And T isn't really thinking about LaWanda anymore. Either though he's happy to be with his son, he's he's happy to lay up with LaWanda. You see why he's laid up with her He's thinking about Markeisha though. So he's kind of moved on at least in his mind. At this point he's moved on at least in his mind that he's thinking about another woman right now. But then it gets even worse at near the end of the episode when Terry overhears LaWanda and his mother talking about how they planned the whole thing to go for LaWanda to leave town to get Terry out of the game and he finds out his dad was in it too and he kind of loses it and says he don't know who to trust in this family anymore so he kind of is fed up with LaWanda even though she will continue to be in his life because that's his baby's mother this just gives him all the more reason 
to pursue after Markeisha, even though he shouldn't be pursuing after her because she already done showed him that that ring while he went in there. But meanwhile, while all this is going on, ever since seeing Markeisha at the basketball game, he starts showing up at her job, initially talking about he needs he just got his driver's license, so he needs to add himself to the insurance. So. It's hard to tell if he already knew she was going to be working there. I don't think it was just a coincidence that he shows up at her job her job the next day asking to get on the insurance. I think that was definitely not a coincidence. He knew he found out where she worked at and showed had a reason to show up there. But even the next day he's showing back up, bringing her flowers and everything. But we see her starting to warm up to Terry at the end before he before he leaves her office the final time we see her warming up to her because warming up to Terry because she was kind of cold when he first came in there telling him she works on commission she's he, he you're kind of wasting my time sitting here talking to me but moving forward I do believe that Markeisha will bring the ruthless side out of Terry because we see in the tra in the trailer Terry riding with a tech at one point and we also see him stomping someone down could this one of these targets the person he's stomping down or the or the person he's looking for riding with a tech could one of these be boom also, how will Boom respond? This is what the problem could really be. How is Boom going to respond to Terry trying to get with his wife? Will he move on? You know, act like a player and just say, okay, she, she with him now. I'm going to move on to the next as well. Like some guys do. Or like some guys do, will he seek revenge and try to go after Terry in some type of way? Could Boom also team, we know he is friends, associates at least, I'm pretty sure more than associates, at least partners or friends with Pat. Could they team up to try to take out the Flannery Brothers at some point in Season 2? Or maybe Boom could start working as an informant. My prediction for how this is going to play out is who we saw Terry stomping down in the trailer will be Boom. Maybe T will see, T will see Boom arguing with Markeisha in public, mistreating her, possibly laying his hands on her, and then he will come over there and get into a fight with Boom and just stomp him down and just, I mean, and just beating down hard. And that's when we're going to start seeing that ruthless side come out of Terry because he, that Markeisha going, going when he sees Markeisha get the get hands laid on her it's just going to bring a side out of Terry that he didn't even know he had in him because come on man moving forward you can see the pictures of uh, of Southwest T in real life come on that man was not somebody you played with so I'm predicting this man you're going to see a ruthless side and he even did say uh, what was it? He said, we had to learn to be the baddest beast in the jungle. That was T speaking. He said at the beginning when me with Meech was moving those keys from Las Vegas in the OG, T was narrating. He said, we had to learn how to be the baddest beast in the jungle. So, yeah, I think, Terry, you're going to see a, a, a beast rising up out of Terry in season two where people think he's just Meech's younger brother. He's someone who who just, you know, they can they can kind of talk back to, talk trash to. I told you, season one, Terry said he's gonna rule with an iron fist. He's out the game right now. He's trying to be legit. But bruh, pursuing a married man's wife is kind of ruthless to begin with, man. That's kind of like Bruh, you, you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. But I think this going to bring that side out of him. Where we do see Terry become that dude. Where ain't nobody 
going he going to be toting around some 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 artillery and he ain't the one to be played with. I think that's who we're going to see Terry. I don't know for sure. But when I see when I see Southwest T pictures when when you go to real life pictures of Meech and Terry, you know you see Meech, you know he cool, probably not someone to be played with neither some party, so someone who party a lot, like to have a good time. But they say Terry was meticulous about things. He was not to be played with. You can see it in the pictures. So we're going to have to see. I know it's going to come out of him at some point. But after that, let me move forward. I got held up with that for a minute. In conclusion, I don't think he's going to kill Boom. And I'm predicting that Boom will later become an informant for Bryant. And possibly something that Boom can get on Terry. Maybe Marquise Marquis and him have kids. Maybe she's, he's able to get in some kind of wire or bug on Terry through Marquisha. One way or another, I think at some point, Boom will become an informant. And it will, be, it will lead to Terry being taken down in 2005 by Officer Bryant. And there you, get, there you have it. Terry pursuing a married woman will be a problem at some point. Leave your thoughts in the comments.